So we're finally getting close to the end of this one. Just trying to get the screen mounted, which is oh, one of the last things always, and it's one of my least favorite parts of every install. Why? Because you got to drill a hole through a nice cabinet, typically a fairly new RV. So it's it's not fun. You get some leeway because the screen, you know, covers some. But you want to make sure wherever you think you're putting it, that you're for sure going to get the wire down in there. This one was pretty tough. Oh, you can actually see in the bathroom there's a cabinet. <clears throat> so that little hole you can see on the other side is right here. So the wire is going to come through there and go up through there. You know, I'll, I'll secure it in the corner. You know, unless you go looking for it, you're not going to see the wire. They also, I can get up on the counter here. They also wanted an outlet up here to plug this in because they've been like running this extension cord down the side and she doesn't like the way it looks. Which I mean, yeah, it does kind of look stupid. So they wanted an outlet up here if possible. So not the easiest thing in the world to accomplish either. So you can see I got a couple holes here. There was holes here. This one I did make a little bigger. Not realizing this hole is here because it was hidden by this stuff. Otherwise, I wouldn't have cut this one bigger, but whatever. I'm going to try to get the wire over there. There's a stud right here. That's the problem. I'm going to try to get the wire over here and use this hole for the outlet. So, so that's what this wire is. It's a, uh, like 14.2 Romex. I'm going to run this down, and I'm actually going to connect this to where the converter used to connect since that's not used anymore. And then I got the HDMI cable and the USB cable. Those are two extensions to extend the cables from the Touch 50 down into, get down here, ouch. I'm getting too old for this. We're just gonna go down into the pass-through, which is where I'm gonna mount the servo. So we're getting close to the end of this one. I'll film everything once I get it all pieced back together. I just kind of wanted to show you guys that. This can be sometimes the most difficult part of the entire install. Well, I got the outlet in. That outlet was not there. So I uh, ran that down when I ran the cable for the servo. That's where the servo cable is coming out right here. Not the cleanest hole in the world. I don't know why. But it's up here where you don't really see it. So, so the customer will be happy. Wife hated the fact that he had to have a cord dangled down this to plug in underneath there for the router that's up here. So now it can just plug in there. What's up guys? So we're all done up here on the roof. We're just about done with everything on this one. So it's got 1720 watts up here total. That was a factory panel. Used to be there. I installed these four. So these are 355 LGs. So there's 1420 and then another 300. This one goes in the factory entry gland, which is actually underneath this panel. I added that entry gland for the panels that I added. Oh, and I put easy starts in these. And these two air conditioners. That one we did not say they won't ever use that one off the inverter, they said. So but at least these two they can run off the inverter if they want. So nice little system here. You should be able to do a decent amount of boondocking with this much solar. I always go through and reseal the rest of the roof while I'm up here. Or at least look over everything for everybody since I'm up here with Dicor anyways. Kind of same thing in the back here. I went across that back seam because it was starting to crack a little bit. So it's just a good thing to do. All right, guys, we got this one all wrapped up. We're trying to bust butt out of here and get to the next one. But uh, run through everything real quick. Obviously, multi plus two, 3,000 watt inverter. That's six Battleborn batteries. They are wired in two groups of three. So I combine the two groups negative on the shunt. I combine the two groups on the catastrophic fuse post. Goes through there, into the cutoff switch, into the distributor, and out to everything. So you got inverter. Uh, this is the generator there, and two solar controllers. And then I tie into the 12 volt system up here on the ear where the red wire is. Couldn't have that red wire messing up my color scheme here. So, 
wires come across through there this would be the circuit protection and disconnect for the two solar controllers this one provides circuit protection on positive and negative which is nice negative is, is there's no way to isolate the two strings it's either both on both off but if the time ever came that you had to do that then just disconnect a wire from whichever solar controller you need to do so but having circuit protection on positive and negative that's technically code for residential um, so nice little system he only had two battleborne batteries before and he had this bmv 712 for the shunt so we've uh, definitely leveled him up some so he'll have a nice system for boondocking you can see his power cord over there it's never even been used so he doesn't go to rv parks so paired with this generator he'll never have a shortage of power there was two cutoff switches here i'm still going to paint those black before i leave but and then i made a holder on the wires through since using one of those wasn't an option he already had this bmv 712 he didn't have the display mounted but there was a hole there so i decided to use that hole to mount the display it's kind of redundant with the touch 50 screen but he already had it so why not make use of it so wires come across through there servos mounted just on the other side of the wall and then everything runs to the panel obviously wires come down from the roof for the entry gland i put in there and then the factory one just kind of comes through somewhere actually goes through the belly that's where the factory one goes through the belly and end up into there all right guys that's it for this video we're super thankful for all the subscribers we got our channel is slowly growing we're trying to get to that thousand mark like every channel wants to do so if any of you out there are looking for a solar installer uh just in case you don't know we do travel the entire country right now we're in sunny florida it's nice and warm here three weeks ago we were in california we'll be in michigan i mean we go all over the place if we can tow there we'll go there so uh we're at our new to us fifth wheel right now so one of our upcoming videos is going to be the system i put in here i mean i put probably the biggest system we've ever had or is the biggest system we've ever had in here so i'm excited to show you guys it we live full time we run our air conditioning all the time uh that was power needs that we had so especially with the two fresh babies we got so so we got some exciting stuff coming so everybody please like and subscribe mm -hmm.